Hello. How's everyone today? Welcome to Draw Everything with me, Super K. If anybody's out there, hello. And I'm testing new audio today, so hopefully it's okay and you can hear me. Um, I'm going to put that up. Yeah, so today, um, I'm going to draw a suggestion from Jocelyn. Um, I think it's her favorite character or favorite uh, comic book character. Um, but I'm going to draw multiple, multiple man today. Um, so this is a drawing that I found. I'm going to change it a little bit because of that whole, and I know the story behind this, but I didn't really get the whole story. Um, so it's the M on his eye. So I'm going to add that into the photo, into the, into the drawing. So I thought I'd go a little bit, uh, simple today and, uh, something simple and fun. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, get to it. I have to do a double double duty here because I need to <clears throat> have the picture up. Usually I have it on my uh, iPad, but I didn't find I didn't download it on my iPad, so I'm gonna put it on my yeah, screen in front and try to have the chat up too. All right. Well, now let's uh, begin. If anybody joins in, I'll say hi. Throw some music up a little higher. This eye. Sorry, this makes I can't actually draw straight. All right. Are they always in art class? Perspective drawing. By the way, I don't like drawing people. I hated drawing self-portraits when I was in uh, art school. All right. Never made a career. So if you can't see it, uh, apologies, because I draw really light. So you'll probably really see it when I start to go over it with the light. Um, not doing that swirly swirly. We're gonna be putting the M. I don't actually know much about this character. I know it's comic books. And <laughs> obviously by the name Multiple Man, he probably uh, multiplies as you can see. Oh. Rob, how's it going? I didn't see it pop up on my uh, screen, but I have the picture up on the side of the chat so I don't miss the chat. Um, yeah, so I'm trying out this Multimo Man today. Let's see if it, uh, how it comes out. I always say the simplest photos always look simple to do, but I never know. I don't know if you heard I was saying, I know like not really much about this one, but 
Oops, I think his mouth is too much. Oh, my eraser. It's too much to the side there. Uh, one second, I need to find my eraser. How's it going today, Rob? How you feeling? Uh, feeling better? Sorry, I was just farther away. <laughs> Am I right? Let's sit with more center. husband barbecued <laughs> my, my husband barbecued his own steaks well he barbecued the steaks I didn't I don't do steak and burgers filipino beer what's the name of that filipino beer i may have had had filipino beer once i've been crushing more um cider Red horse beer. Hmm. Can't say that I know that name does not sound familiar. Is it good? Strong beer. Is it like a dark beer, ale? In the summertime, I, I like to try ciders, and um, I don't know if you ever had a uh, Fruly before. Fruly is like a beer 
strawberry beer. Oh man, that thing could go down like on a hot day really fast. Ears cut off in this photo, so I'm gonna have to improvise on his ear. Then again, I don't know if you're really a fruit, a fruit kind of. A nice refreshing beer for hot. Have you ever been to the um, beer market? Where you we, there's like a book of beers and like from different countries and then you like just try out all these different beers pineapple that yeah you get expensive but <laughs> at least you get to you get to try different things right I guess his hair will get cut off in my photo because right there is the cutoff line. I'll have to worry about the top of his. Yeah, I've been to that one, and there was one in Mississauga they had opened. Yeah, I think that they had opened up and I had gone to that. Now hopefully I have some room here for him. Mm, now you have me thinking about beer. I need to like drink a beer right now. We have no fancy ones in our fridge. I want a fancy. I don't think we have. Paper hmm. here. Ads getting low. Are you having a beer right now? <laughs> beer and drawing. We have the big bottles of all that for sure. Big bottle because I don't finish it. <laughs> well, let's hopefully the uh, we can start going back to like restaurants or something because then maybe we should all go to a beer market. <laughs> Oh man, I have one now. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go check if there's a small one because if there's no small ones, then I'm not gonna do it. And I don't wanna have a cider right now because I think that has to be like a hot one. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be right back, I'm gonna check. It's actually right behind me, so.
Okay, here's a funny one. So the bear I got is, okay. These are like big bottles. Usually I share this with my husband. It's a five milliliter bottle, right? And I just looked at it and I'm like, wait a second, this one half empty. Did I start a beer and never finished it? So let's hopefully this hasn't been in there for long, but I'll drink it. Here's the, here's what I'm drinking. So we, we buy this one and another one as a casual drinking one. I'm having this one right now. It should taste fine. Well, let's see. I don't know how long it's been in there. It's drinkable. <laughs> It'll do. And you know what? I'll be able to finish this. There you go. Now having a beer with you. Yeah, these ones are really good, actually. Uh, what was the other one in our fridge? Oh, I forget. I'll tell you the name uh, again, but this one is good. Um, and there's another one we usually buy. And my husband buys it from, Dave buys it from um, a place in Guelph. Um, that he gets his the beer from. It's like a local brewery. Um, and they're pretty good. But my favorite beer is Innocent Gun. So he usually buys me some of that when I want my Innocent Gun. I always think my Innocent Gun is like a treat. bringing beverages in my <laughs> drawing drinks. Usually I just have water. Yeah, maybe that's why I like it. I'm a whiskey fan. I used to really like um, Keats. Like, that was like my favorite drink for a long time until I until I found Innocent. I think it's actually Innocent Gun that makes the Fruly drink too. Oh, or a sub, oh, like a sub uh, company. Oh my gosh really okay so um canadian club and like the good canadian club and ginger ale is my drink of choice i would drink that all night um i used to like crown when i was younger like in my 20s but I grew out of that taste. No, I didn't taste. And, or maybe because one of my friend's dad made me drink it straight up with water and that was just gross. Um, so, I, um, so I went to Canadian Club. So Canadian Club is my favorite with ginger ale. Um, <clears throat> so I drink that. That's like my main beer. It's like parties, whatever like that. I'll drink that. Um, if I want something like hard alcohol. And then, you know, I'll have like the occasional, like, like if I go out to a restaurant or something, I'll have like a martini, something like that. I would never order really beer at a restaurant because, you know, I just, that's some stuff I have at home. So, um, yeah, so, uh, my second favorite drink, like card alcohol would be, I guess Dave got me into this one. He, he's a gin and tonic. So, um, I do like a, I do like a gin. But one thing I have not made at home is martinis. I could try one.
man number one is done. Oh, oh hello. VR game room. Well, thank you for the bits. Uh, welcome in. How are you today? Yeah, do my drawings. Um, thank you for the bits. Uh, why can't I see that? Hold on one second, mine. Oh, Martinez. I was talking about. yeah we're talking about beer and drinks and uh all that fun stuff um were you guys uh streaming <clears throat> i'm gonna miss it let's see if you guys were stream okay um i think the m m go this m i was looking at pictures and i thought it was reason i thought it was had a curve could be you know what i'll look it up after i can't remember if it was like a straight m like this i don't know if you... or if it was like a like a, it was like a curve m like this let's see i don't know if it was like a straight m or like a curve on top and then the M. I can't remember. Um, I'll have to look it up to put on it. Maybe yeah. Oh nice. Oh, cool. is he uh is he playing one of his uh retro games? Okay. Mouthful man number two. Alright. Let's go here. Oh. All right. Um, I pro here. Books falling apart. Yeah, I'm trying to keep up my drawings. Still doing it every other Monday. I have a list of things I want to draw, but this one was a Jocelyn. Um. And I wanted something like simple for multiple man, nothing too crazy on this. Oh. Thanks, Rob. What side views can I? it without putting it here. That's the one is something really <laughs> when I'm in the mood I'll do something difficult. When I'm not in the mood I want something the easiest thing. Oh, the next one I want to do, which I was going to do today, but I thought it was crazy. I'll show you. Um, okay, so you won't believe what I found. Okay, so this was, um, I guess they're doing DC for uh, McDonald's Happy Meals. And in Canada, I don't know if it's the same in the US. So they're doing McDonald's Happy Meal and got one when my niece was over. Wait so for... So um, he gets the box. I'm like, oh, what's the what's the toy? And they're like, it's DC. I got the Flash. I'm like, what? It's DC? No way! And the Happy Meal box was amazing. Like, 
I was like, I'm totally stealing this and drawing it. So this was one side, the whole box was filled like this. Look at that. Isn't that like cool? So I think I'm actually gonna like do this, but I'm gonna do it in marker, but this is gonna take me a long time, probably more streams because I'm gonna draw it and then I gotta color it all. Um, but it's flat colors, which is good because I don't have to like really color shades and stuff. But I thought this was really neat. So like each side of the box had this art on it and I was like, what? I'm totally cutting this out and trying gonna try to do it. So yeah, but I found that one was too much for tonight. So um let's let's table that one for another for another night because it might be a multiple night one. But yeah, I can't believe McDonald's did like it was really good. This is the best happy meal you've got. <laughs> yeah, so it's like a little plushy that he got it's like this big and uh, has like a string on it but it's like big head and like small body kind of thing so it was He's a mohawk. <laughs> yeah, I made sure to cut it out before my husband put it in the... Or else I would have been pretty sad if I didn't look hard. <laughs> I'm trying to make it a bit flowy. <clears throat> this, 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 the middle like um, feature on him reminds me of some art that I've seen. I can't. In, like I want to see anime, but it's not anime. You know, I guess the style before. All right, well, he goes out here.
yeah there's something but not like true anime it's like anime with like i don't know i don't know what it is but i feel like i've seen I'm gonna be using a lot of black. <laughs> and black's gonna get sharpened today. Symbol supposed to, does anybody know what a symbol on his feet or mean? Okay, you're gonna tell me the story about Malto Man? Good. Hold on. Originally, when the suit helped control mutant power, signs up. Now he wears it. Oh, okay. So it's not like a uh, what do you call it? Uh, um, I feel every time I look at it, I look at like the periodic table, <laughs> like it's something from the periodic table. <clears throat> okay.
So I guess his suit doesn't help him anymore. maybe helped him roll it down now so he doesn't need but we're drawing more of a I guess a younger looking older version you actually see it Watching here with this eyebrow. Better I drop this. I don't think I ever learned something about the multiple man. <clears throat> Thanks, Rob, for that. If Jocelyn was here, I'd be grilling her. I told her I was drawing it tonight.
Oh, uh, yeah, I was thinking I had an idea in mind. What was it? I don't know if it'll, if it'll be good, though. Um, oh my gosh, what was it? I did cereal. I did chocolate. Bar. Was... Okay, I'm drawing a blank. I will think I had an idea and now I forgot. Um, uh, oh man. Yeah, I'll hit you up. Um, yeah, definitely. I would love to be on it uh, for the next one. And if I figure out what I was thinking about, um, the idea I had, I will let you um, My goodness. Okay, well, this piece is okay. <laughs> oh, Lord. What was it? <laughs> of course, I didn't write it down. Or I was talking out loud about it. Cereal one, I came in like fifth or something. I remember. I know you probably guys wouldn't go for anything healthy, so I went non healthy when picking my options. Watch, I was thinking cereal, but wasn't cereal. With that too, you gotta think of something that has a lot of out there. You have options to pick from. So Rob, you're you're wondering, Sierra Gamer, we're doing like a challenge bracket thing of um the first one they did was like chocolate bars. And you have to guess like bracket style. Guess which one they would pick or like or thinking like them. And I came in first in that one. And then last week, you guys did cereal. Um, so, yeah. Oh. What a good... Oh. I had an idea. It'll come to me. I'll dream it tonight. Watch.
No, oh, this one looks like a sad face, multiple man. Sad multiple man. Old man cereal. <laughs> See, like Honey Nut Cheerios, um, what was it? Like Raisin Bran and all those stuff. I'm like, nah, nah, they're not gonna pick those. They're gonna go for the sweet ones, you know, the ones. What did I pick? I think I picked Foster Flakes as winning. No, I gotta think like them. I'm gonna think healthy. <laughs> I can't believe I can't remember. This is bothering me so much. And I thought, yeah, it was a good one because it was going to be variety. Grape nuts? That's a cereal? <laughs> I don't think I saw grape. I don't think I remember seeing grape. I was looking out for the Ninja Turtle cereal, but it wasn't on there either. Oh, I remember now. Um, unless you guys did this one before. Chips. Flavored chips. No, did you? I feel like you did this one before. I think it was chips. Because, you know, Matt would choose ketchup all the way. This thing's a lot of flavors of chips. Must be an American thing. Because I've never heard of grape nuts. Thanks, Rob. All right, now for the black. Oh, wait, I gotta do his, uh, his M. M, 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 M. Okay, give me one second. I'm actually gonna see. What's the most common M on his face? What does the M symbolize for? Do you know, Rob? I can't remember. Multiple man. M. I think I might just do this. Ugh, curry chips? I don't know about that. <laughs> See, I would pick jalapeno all the way. But and I'm very particular with cheesy chips. Of course, of course I don't find any pictures. Oh, there's one. Um Great M, a little like a line. 
Okay, they're all different. Mm. I think I'm gonna make it like. I don't think it really do much disaster different. Oh, okay. I see. See, there's some that's curved, there's some that's straight that has a little thing on top. I guess it depends on the art you look at. So I'm going to do uh I'm gonna do a straight, I think. Oh look. Actually, does it go over? Hold on, you know what? Okay, um, I have another picture. I downloaded. Yeah, I got some more. Here. So I can either do it with this thing like this. with the line like that or it with no line um let me see how it is without the line let's do one side with the line and one side hmm all right chat's choice line or no line Kind of like both, but I don't know. While we're deciding, I'll make the other end. Oh, the question is, okay, here, I'll put it back up. Should we do the M straight M or should we put the little line there? Like almost looks like a, I don't know, a fancy M. <laughs> so straight M, which is this side or the little line on top. Yeah, I said chat choice. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, I don't know which one I like. Well, you know what? I'm gonna do it straight because it's easier to add the line than it's not. So we'll do it straight for now in the black, and then if we looks like we need the uh, the uh, line, we'll put the line. In. Thank you. 
gonna let Jocelyn decide since pressure on her. And did you, can, you guys, can you even hear the music at all? Or at all? I made adjustments to my audio. So I haven't been talking like, and there's like no music on. Okay, good. Awesome. And my voice sounds okay. Is it was pretty so in the tournament for Breath Weapon X it was pretty bad, but nobody told me till like the fourth round and not like you couldn't hear me, it was too loud, I guess. I pitched. I totally redid it and But it doesn't sound like I'm yelling. <laughs> it doesn't sound like I'm yelling. I'm okay, before I go over this with black, I want to fix his arm here because I don't, it's too looking too big.
One thing I struggle with OBS is my audio. Ooh, I almost made a mistake. Oh my gosh, just people got lost by the little Yoshi. Oh, all right. <laughs> Get a garbage and extinct and so shit and so racing goes on the floor. Alright. Race this pencil markings. Sorry if you got a shaky cam.
on the floor. All right, get some colors. I don't need much, which is good. So we need black, a green, a light green, base color, blue brown. Thanks. I think once it's colored, it might. So let's see what we have in the old. All right, where's my test paper? All right. So greens. Make this section. Hmm. Might be too. Might be dark areas. Air. I will table that green. Let me find. Forgot about my beer. Nicer green here. Um, really super paint. Dark. Wants to blue. light of a green one do that one that one here he okay all right I think we got all the colors oh wait I need face color Color is color here now because that. Um, this is the light one. The dark. This thing. It'll be a little different. It'll work.
Oh, and this one bigger than the other side. Oh, well. music because last time I made it run over by accident and got a copyright thing because it went into another playlist but this one's 11 hours Also reminds me, I need to get with Collector Rob. Is he a contest for the awesomes from our podcast? See what he wants me to draw. Good night, Rob. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good night. so fast sharpen again hey Matt how's it going how are you this Monday night They say sweating is good. Um, I don't think it was too hot today here. It was rainy. It was nice and cool. Windy. So, but not terribly hot today here. Did you, uh, did you get a Slurpee on your walk?
Because I think that would have been nice, right? For a hot day. Oops. What is a Tex-Mex candy? The eating of the tea. Tex candy. What is that? Candy plus chili. Okay, so you have a bowl of chili and then you add candy to it. Can't say I heard of that one. Combination. Totally should stream it. Is this like a, a deer of some sort that you got, Matt? Or doing it to do it? Are you dared? get a goodie box okay so this is already packaged okay was short you have to make sure you do it you know with your face so that way you can see how you react to it
I went at the lines. Whoops. Now, is this like um, really hot? Like, is it like spicy or is it just like mellowed down? Like, it's not spicy at all. Okay. I gotta look how this packaging looks or how this thing. Milk candy scares you? Why would milk candy scare you? Like, what's... What's different about it? She looks like milk. Milk balls. <laughs> oh, that one. I can't wait for you to do that one on camera, too. Uh, funny. Maybe that's another idea for the bracket. Maybe like food. Like, uh, like, I don't know, different types of food, like sushi or like things like that. Again, I don't know. That's a lot though. There's a lot of variety you can do with that. But. Plus I... I don't know if you have you have to try it as well, right? Oh my goodness, I'm doing horrible with my coloring.
<laughs> Can you send me a picture? Because I honestly cannot picture how this thing looks. All I think of is like this Claire Ziploc looking bag with like balls of white things in it or something and floating in like clear liquid or something. Ooh, interviews, like summer help, students, student help. working. <laughs> Jump! <laughs> oh, see, you got you totally have to catch me when I'm not looking at the screen. The screen blow up! Barbecue chicken! You know it calls for finger dance, right? Yeah, I can squish it. I made me jump over her chicken today yet. Usually, if I, if I didn't, don't hear it, I would end my stream with chicken. So Matt, any I so we're thinking about another for the bracket. Your game room bracket. It is cereal candy bars. I was thinking chips flavors, but I can remember if Chris can tell. I don't know if you heard me earlier. Chips is chip flavors, but then I said, you know, Matt will just put ketchup to win. Um and then I was thinking international food, but that one might be too. But you also have to f f find something that has a lot of stuff you can. Vegetables, too boring. <laughs> Who eats vegetables? My goodness, time flies. Started early today.
Yeah, they were like not even let catch up to go in the first round. But you would still put it to win. What about soup? Is soup like too hard though? Like, is there like not enough soup flavor, soup flavors out there? Soup types? That sounds kind of, I don't know, boring too. Yeah, that's the thing. You gotta think of something that has lots of options. I think food. I think like when you go grocery shopping. Like Cookies? Cookies. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. That, that's a Google one. How many cookies? Now remember too, like, US could have much more than us here in Canada. Cake flavors. <laughs> Again, I don't know how much cake flavors there are out there. And if you've had that much cake. Ice cream? That's a good one. I'm sure there's tons of ice cream flavors. Make sure to visit this and write all these down. I'm not writing it. Hey, Donnie, how's it going? Are you at work? Sneaking in.
Yeah, everybody likes to get up late on a Monday, then get up early to go to work. <laughs> Honestly. You know, electric. Should just make Mondays off, everybody. Actually, would you rather have a Monday off or a Friday? every day <laughs> that would probably require me winning the lottery which also requires me buying auto tickets Thanks for dropping by, Donnie. Have a good night. Have fun, Matt. Thanks again for dropping in. Talk to you later. The vaccine lottery. Well, that's an interesting. Oh, I'm almost done here. Just get black done. Good. Me and maybe Chris is still out there. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, good thing that's black. Oof. for the black.
Here we got this black. Oh, my shaking, so shaky cam. I like the orange background too, so I think it's some, but not too dark, maybe light. Alright, one done.
be going into my happy that. Pencil sharpens on me. One sec. I always give like two whites in my like pencil crayon. Not two points. Okay, do I have two? Getting low.
Okay, we'll do that. Pop away. And there we go. Well, it's done. That was a fun picture. That took way longer than I thought it would. And the orange didn't look too bad. Oh, our multiple man. Alright, 
so what's coming up on DM North TV? All right, so Saturdays uh, we play board games. Uh, Saturday nights, uh, Eastern time. Usually we try to aim for two o'clock, two o'clock. Nope. That's wrong. Nine o'clock Eastern standard time. So I don't know what we're playing on Saturday, but, uh, we decided to take a break last Saturday, but we'll be back hopefully this Saturday, uh, the 26th also happening on the 26th. If you play dice masters or, you know, of the game, um, myself and Jocelyn also host uh, dice social, which is dice masters. Um, that's also happening on the 26th and that's at 2 PM Eastern time. Um, so you can look out on our DM northcom website for details on that. Um, and Monday, the 28th will be another episode of a double, double and dice with me and Jocelyn as well, uh, where we talk about dice masters. Um, and again, look at on our socials, uh, DM North TV, all our socials for anything that's upcoming. And, um, yeah, I think that's all we had. So anybody who joined me today and hanging out, thanks for joining again, Chris, thanks for coming on by for the bits. Um, is Mr. You guys are on. All right. Awesome. We'll raid into see our game room. Oh. Anyways, thanks for guys for watching. Have a good night.